What is tsunami? It's earthquake in ocean crust. Option D. The term tsunami is coined from blank. It's coined from Japanese term. Option C. What does term tsunami mean in Japanese? It means harbor wave. Option D. Tsunami is a series of extremely long waves generated by blank. Generated by a large and sudden displacement of the ocean. Option C. During a tsunami, a series of waves radiating outward from a central disturbance of the sea floor is called blank. It's called wave train. Option A. Which of the following is the most common tsunami source? It's underwater earthquakes. Option B. Tsunamis are waves generated by blank. Generated by all of the above. Option D. Most major tsunamis are generated by earthquakes along blank. Along convergent margins. Option B. In geology, blank is what happens when one tectonic plate moves underneath another. It's subduction. Option C. Tsunamis are sometimes referred as blank because they are most often generated by earthquakes. And seismic sea waves. Option B. Which of the following is the most dangerous location for a tsunami hazard? Option B. Beaches, bays, harbors, etc. that lead to the ocean. Major tsunamis are produced by earthquakes with hypocenters less than blank. Hypocenters less than 30 km. Option D. Most major tsunamis are produced by earthquakes with magnitudes greater than blank. Greater than 7. Option B. Earthquakes and tsunamis constitute disaster percentage as blank. 8% Option C Tsunamis can occur only during blank. Can occur any time in day or night. Option C What is the speed of tsunami waves? It's around 400 km per hour to 800 km per hour. Option A. The height of tsunami's wave depends upon blank. It depends upon local topography. Option A. The wavelengths of tsunamis range between blank and blank. It's between 150 km and 1000 km. Option D. The periods of tsunami range from 10 minutes up to blank. It's up to 2 hours. Option A. 
The number of tsunami waves generated by one earthquake is generally blank. It's generally 10 to 12. Option D. In tsunami, the tops of the waves move blank, then their bottom do, which cause them to rise precipitously. Faster. Option D. Just prior to a tsunami coming ashore, sea level appears to fall quickly. This phenomena is called It's called drawdown. Option B. What are the three stages of a tsunami in order? Option D. The generation, the propagation and the inundation. If the sea floor is suddenly displaced upward, then what happens to the sea surface? It will momentarily rise. Option C. When the stress exceeds the resistance to shearing along the logged interface between two converging plates, what will happen? The sea flow will suddenly be driven upward. Option B. The speed of a tsunami blank as it enters shallow water. slows down. Option B. As a tsunami approaches shallow water, which of the following set of transformations occur? The answer is option D. Wavelength decreases, wave period stays same and wave height increases. Blank is the maximum vertical height above normal high tide reached by a tsunami as travels over the land surface. It's option C, run up height. Which of the following disasters can be triggered by the earthquake? It's all of the above, option D. What are the tsunami alert levels in order from least danger to most danger? So option B, information statement, watch, advisory, warning. What would you do if you heard a warning of tsunami? The answer is option A. Get out of the water quickly and move to higher ground. The Disaster Management Act was passed by the Government of India in year blank. In year 2005, option C. Indian National Tsunami Warning System became operational in blank. In year 2007, option B. Where is National Institute of Disaster Management in India is located? It's in New Delhi, option D. Where is the Indian Tsunami Early Warning Center established at Indian National Center for Ocean Information Sciences located? It's in Hyderabad, option C. Area of Indian coastline which is vulnerable to storm surges, cyclones and tsunamis is blank. It's 5700 km, option B. Where is International Tsunami Information Center located? It's in Honolulu, USA. Option A. When is World Tsunami Awareness Day observed every year? It's observed on 5th November every year. Option D. 
When was World Tsunami Awareness Day established? In year 2015, option A. In which year the violent explosion of the famous volcano Krakatoa in Indonesia produced tsunamis measuring 40 feet? In year 1883, option C. The Japanese port town of Auna built a 4.5 meter sea wall, but it was destroyed in blank by tsunami. In year 1993, option C. When did tsunami struck the east coast of India in recent times? Option D, December 26, 2004. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami also uncovered ancient sculptures of the lost city of Blank in India. Option B. Mahabalipuram 11 March 2012 marked one year since an earthquake and tsunami killed thousands of people in blank. In Japan, option A. About blank of tsunamis happened within the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. 80% Option A. Hawaii is always at great risk for a tsunami. They get about blank every year and a severe every seven years. Option D, once. Which of the following activities covered by disaster management before, during or after a disaster? All of the above activities. Option D. What are the three phases of disaster management planning? Answer is option A, preparation, response and recovery. A clear, concise document which outlines preventive and preparatory measures and the event of a disaster to minimize its effect is blank. Its disaster plan, option B. What does the acronym ISDR stand for? It stands for International Strategy for Disaster Reduction, Option C. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.